Roland, what have we got here? 2018 Road Glide. I'll try and bring it back in the same condition. <laughs> Don't try, dude, come on. This is my personal bike. Angus beef, pastrami, cheddar. Look at that for a campsite burger. For this adventure, I'd head out on an RSD performance bagger, a big cruising machine that after a few performance mods, it can now glide around corners better than ever. With the all new King of Baggers racing class gaining so much interest in the USA, Roland Sands has not only got his own racing team, but he's also pimped out his own personal ride. But before Roland handed over the keys, we had a quick chat about the mods he's done to his own machine. Roland, good to see you my friend. Good to see you too. What have we got here? We've got a 2018 Roadblad yeah. that we have thrown the RC parts catalog at. It's got an intake and an exhaust on it and an FP3. We have boosted the horsepower a bit, you know, okay. it runs a little bit better. But really, the suspension is the major thing that we paid attention to. And we developed a Fox XRSD shock for this thing, uh, which raised the bike up a little bit. Okay. For ground clearance, which you'll appreciate. Yeah, yeah, sweet. Um, so she's going to turn good then. It's going to, yeah, I mean, it turns excellent. Um, I mean, you know, it's a bagger. You're still going to drag the thing a little bit. Mm. But you can go as fast as you need to go. The stock bike, to me, I felt like it really decked out pretty early. Okay. Did a Krauss riser kit and really pulled the bars back. I think where they're more comfortable. You know, these things come with kind of a goofy mm -hmm. drop down, mm -hmm. buckhorn style bars. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the bars look got, so much different. Yeah, it feels more like a motocross bike, which is weird because you feel like you're riding this bagger, but it has like a motocross feel to it. So maybe a bit of cruising today and yep. then find some twisties to go ride. Yep. There's some sweet carbon fiber on it. Yeah, we, we definitely trim you weight off the bike. All, all in oh, on the wow. carbon. Yeah, that, all geez, in on the carbon. That. Traction wheels. So we did mm -hmm. a high performance traction wheel set for this bike. They're lightweight wheels. So okay. we lose, lose quite a bit of weight from the stock wheels. Oh, wow. Um, gold anodized just because, you know, I've been <laughs> doing that for ages and it's just something I can't stop doing. <laughs> uh, radial brakes, good performance scene radial brake calipers. We got our 13 inch rotors. Okay. If you want to get on a bike and go ride across the country, it does it. it does All the right. job. Perfect. I mean, it, you can get on the highway and just Yo! something that these bikes do well, like the baggers, American baggers, you mm -hmm. know, whether it's an Indian chieftain or a road glider, a street mm -hmm. glider, mm -hmm. something, one of these types of bikes is, is it carries that weight in a specific way that makes you, it just makes it for some reason easier to do miles. Yeah. 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 You know, where if yeah, you're yeah. on like a, a, a really lightweight bike. Yeah. It's like you feel everything on the road. You, oh yeah. You know? The gust of wind coming off the truck or whatever. You all feel of it. it all, yeah. Yeah, you and feel I, all I, of I it. wouldn't have believed that that was true, but I recently rode a Harley and it was definitely difficult in the city, but it's not really designed to be a city bike that's split in lanes. But when you got out into the countryside, out into the highway, it was an awesome bike to sit on. Yeah. Because I was no fatigue and you just chucked to where and trucking. Yeah, it's like you don't understand it until you get old and you have kids. Yeah. And then you're like, every ounce of performance doesn't yeah, matter yeah, anymore. Yeah, yeah. It's all now about comfort. It's all How, about How's comfort. the seat? Yeah. <laughs> I'm in pain most of the time. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll try and bring it back in the same condition. <laughs> don't, don't try. Dude, come on. This is my personal bike. <laughs> now I'd fill the panniers with my camping and cooking gear. And then get out of here before Roland had a chance to change his mind. First, I jump on the highway and effortlessly cruise 50 miles south, as today I'm going in search of great biking roads to put this bagger through its paces. So I'm starting off with a well-known biker road, number 74, the Ortega Highway. It's a great stretch of road that takes you away from traffic, out into nature and onto many great corners. Now I could get a feel for these RSD modifications. 
and I could instantly tell that that Fox suspension was a big improvement from stock, as it just flowed around these curves with ease. And spotting a mountain star along the way, I called in for a few supplies. Hi, do you sell eggs by any chance? That's a lot of eggs. Thank you. And the roadside fruit and veg stand was a great place to pick up more bits for tonight's dinner and tomorrow's breakfast. Got some supplies. All we have to do now is enjoy the ride. with everything I needed, it was now time to ride the RSD Performance Bagger on one of the best roads in San Diego County, the S6. It's a twisty and demanding road up to the top of Palomar Mountain, and a road that would allow me to get this big machine over a bit as well. So, let's go for a ride. It was a brilliant evening ride to the summit of Palomar Mountain and that huge astronomical observatory. And as the sun fell from the sky, it was now time to set up my camp. And then get the dinner on. And after my recent delicious smash burgers on the Vespa 300, I went about smashing my own over an open fire.
American Angus beef pastrami cheddar. Oh, I've got this pastrami burger. <laughs> that looks unbelievable. Let's go get a chili. And look at that for a campsite burger. <laughs> look at that beauty. Cheers. With a full belly, I'd now put my feet up and enjoy an evening in nature and sleeping beneath the stars. The woodpecker woke me in the morning, so I freshened up in the nearby stream and then set about getting that fire going for my breakfast amongst the trees. And with my stove now ready, I cook up a big spicy scramble. A spicy start to the day. And then after breakfast, it was time to pack up and leave the place exactly as I'd found it. Buy a decent tent, and that is always a great hotel. It had been a great ride up. An evening spent on the summit of Palomar Mountain. And now on the RSD Performance Bagger, I get to enjoy those awesome corners again on my way back down. But now it's your turn. Get out there and just go for a ride. I love burgers. Oh, not Michelle.